Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. We're going to continue with our curve focused videos that we've been doing recently as of this recording. If you look at the Create menu, Curve Tools, and I'll break this little menu off. We talked about earlier the CV Curve Tool. If you click the little I in the upper right corner, you can see a link to the CV Curve Tool video. In this video, we want to go over the EP Curve Tool. Now, if you recall from the CV curve tool, the, the letters CV stand for control vertex, which is a component of a NURBS object, which is what all curves are, are NURBS objects. Now, the components of a NURBS object, if you recall from what we talked about before, include control vertices, or CVs, as well as a hull, which is a line connecting CVs. There are certain components of curves that are not visible on a NURBS object. So for example, let's create a NURBS sphere. So this is a NURBS sphere. If I right click and you can see the marking menu open to show the component selection types you can choose from. You have control vertex here and hole like we've talked about. There's also the isoparm and that, that's referring to the actual lines that you can see here, if I click and drag, I can select different lines on the surface. Those are the isoparms. Control vertices, you can see those. And you also notice that they're kind of floating off of the surface. They're not actually touching the surface, just like with the curves. The control vertices of a curve kind of float away from the curve, but influence the shape of the curve. And then the holes are these lines connecting control vertices together. You can manipulate those all at once like this. So isoparm, control vertex, and hull are the more common components of NURBS that are used for editing NURBS objects. So let me go ahead and go back to object mode and delete this sphere curve. Let's go to create NURBS primitives and create a circle. This NURBS primitive circle and is also a square. These are actually curve objects. So creating the circle, you can see a curve is created as a closed circular curve. This would be a good way of showing the components of a NURBS curve. If I right click and the marking menu opens up and you can see there are control vertices just like with a NURBS object and hull. There's also curve point and edit point. So these two components are unique to NURBS curves and not seen on NURBS surfaces. Okay. So control vertices, you can see those points there that are floating around the uh, circle. Those are the CVs. The hull connecting the CVs together. And then we have edit point or EP. And the edit points you'll see are actually on the curve. And they are drawn between spans of the curve. Okay, so when we say EP curve tool now, we're referring to the edit points of the curve, not the control vertices of the curve. So CV or EP. Now the, both of these tools create the same kind of curve. There's nothing different uh, about the curve itself. It's just a different way of creating it. So I'll delete the circle and let's look at our EP curve tool options. I'll close that menu now and I'm going to actually nest this in the UI of Maya like this on the side and reset tool. So with the default settings here, if you saw the CV curve tool video we did earlier, you can see that they are actually identical minus the multiple in knot checkbox at the bottom. So we ha still have the same settings for curve degree and not spacing. For the sake of not going over the same concepts multiple times, this video will be a little bit shorter than a CV curve tool video because the settings are pretty much the same. So I do recommend you check out the CV Curve Tool video to get these settings explained in more detail. Unlike the CV Curve Tool, this is the EP Curve Tool, which means we're drawing edit points. And these points, as I draw them, I click and drag, are actually drawn on the curve. You can see there. And also, unlike the CV Curve Tool, you don't have a minimum required number of points aside from two. If I hit enter, it'll actually finish drawing the curve. So with a CV curve tool, with a cubic curve degree, 
you have to click four times before the curve is actually drawn. But with the EP curve tool, because you're drawing points that the curve is actually passing through, you can draw as little as two points and the curve will actually start to render. So each time I click, you can see how I'm moving this point way over here. But over here on this side of the curve, it's actually still influencing that section of the curve. The shape of the curve is still being influenced by where this point's position is. As I click and then move this one, you can still see again, the positioning is still being influenced. So the influence of these points can be felt pretty far down the curve. And as you get further and further away, you'll see this end of the curve is no longer being as influenced from the points that I'm placing. But also notice, unlike the CV curve tool, all the points that we're placing are where the curve is actually passing through. And now if I hit enter, it finishes drawing the curve. I'll pull these off now and close the tool settings. So if I right click on the curve, you see there is still control vertices, just like every other curve. This curve has CVs. The only difference is you didn't draw the CVs yourself. You drew the EPs or edit points. Right click and choose edit point and you can see those points where we clicked and drew them. So sometimes I do like to use the edit point curve tool so that I can get a little bit more precise uh, placement of my points so I know exactly that the curve is going to pass through a certain point. Uh, with the CV curve tool there is a little bit of unpredictability since with the CV curve tool, we'll go ahead and do that, create curve tools, CV curve tool. With the CV curve tool, and here we again we hit the start clicking four times before the actual curve starts to draw. You can see because the points are not literally on the curve, it's a little bit uh, different in how the curve is drawn. We're just drawing, we're, we're drawing the CVs that are influencing the curve shape as opposed to being right on the curve. So it's just a, a matter of preference really of which of these you decide to go with. But again, create curve tools, EP curve tool, we can draw a curve like so. And once you're done, hit enter. But in general, it's the options are pretty much the same as the CB curve tool. So I definitely recommend checking out that video if you haven't already. But yes, EP curve tool, very useful curve tool. I definitely use it occasionally. I do think I use the CB curve tool the most, but really they are pretty much interchangeable. So there are other curve tools here as well, but I think uh, for the videos that I'm going to make after this one, we're going to start looking at the actual curves menu because we have lots of different curve controls here. We won't necessarily go over all of them, but we're going to go over some of the more common ones. And uh, I hope to see you there. So thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you later.